What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Study Hall here on TCG University for the Card Game Universes. My name is Tam, and I'm joined with James, Jeff. What Study Hall is for the unenrolled is we've taken a bunch of your guys' universes topics as as well as some of our own, and we sit down and we discuss them for your amusement, entertainment, and knowledge. So with that said, before we get started, a little housekeeping. If you'd like to show and you want to support us, please go out to patreon.com slash TCD University. Stuff out there for at least the $1 level. Get access to the show ad-free with a pre- and post-show. Join us live in the chat, just like all these awesome people. We've got, like, Addy, Andrew Ding, Anthony Albano, Bryce Rassack, Chris Miner, Clay Cardwell, Jacob Arshim Masur, Jay Rogers, Jarrett Hubbard, Jesse Servini, Jesse Morrison, Jesse Nix, John Stone, Justin Farce, Justin Hobbs, Kat Maria, Kevin Broberg, Kieran Vision, Lucinda Letica, Okami Law, Orlando Valdez, Sandoz, Paul Casagrande, Peyton Kiker, Ransom McGutherther, Samantha Stevens, the baddest bitch around, Sean O'Brien, Tyler Zampese, thank you so much for supporting the show and uh, helping us keep the lights on. But if you don't have any bucks to toss, that's totally chill. You can go catch the, the show free over on YouTube.com slash TCD University about a week later with ads without the pre and post show um, over on uh, YouTube.com slash TCD University uh, or podcast services around the globe. Your, your favorite one. Um, look for us if... Uh, if we're not on your favorite podcast, please let us know. Big shout outs to our sponsors this week. We have Cards Custom Build, Red Riot Games, and Dex Protection and Inked Gaming. And Inked Gaming. Uh, but we'll talk about that a, a little bit later. For now, James, me. How's your weekend universe has been, man? I built my decks for the week. That is it. And that is it. Yeah. You've just been bu too busy playing Melee, huh? Yeah. Just refused to do any sort of universe stuff. You came over on Sunday and you played games, right? I mean, I played a I played a couple of games with my Sagat deck. Yeah, and then I played Y Schwartz with uh, Byron. Okay, I played Y Schwartz then. Played some Sagat. The order is irrelevant, but and you just didn't have fun. You didn't. You weren't like thinking what? on anything, or I mean, I you didn't have any brainstorms, today, like, or had too many attacks, so I took out the took out four four attacks, one of the covert intents, and then threw in four other foundations. Were you checking too many attacks or drawing too many attacks? This. Both? Checking. Checking. Bofa sorta. Yeah. Bofa sorta. What the hmm. heck? When did this card get? What'd you do? St when? Sorry. What, when did up? when did Strum Waff get banned? A thousand years ago. Yeah. Before oh. you were playing the game. So okay. long before you played the game. Why? Uh, it's just I'm looking at the ban list. I saw it on the ban list, and I thought to myself, Why is this on the ban list? Nah. Uh, it says it's stun in a billion. Banned. From a, a time before, it probably could come off the list, honestly. It's a three diff that hits for a million, but... Uh, it's still a three diff that hits for yeah. a million. Like, it, it it could come off the list. Like, it could. We, it the could, level of stuff we have now? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it could come off the but list. Instead of coming off, can we just... But I, I don't... I'm not, I'm not positive that Stormwolf, like, adds to the game. I'm not, like... I'm not sure that Stormwolf's like, Oh, man, with this card back, the format's fixed. So, like, there's no reason to, like, really bring it back. Okay. Yeah. Definitely does not fix that. Good question, though, Michael. Jeff, how about you, man? How's your weekend universe been? Good. I, uh, didn't, I didn't get to build anything to this week, but that's okay. We could let some other people take the spotlight in that regards. I got to pilot their decks, though. It was pretty fun. Hell, yeah. Any... Big epiphanies you've had this week? Oh, dude, a little bit. Yeah. Um, you guys can kind of tell. I think that I did a good job of it. In the in the first, the very first match of the campus championship that we just recorded tonight, which will be next week. Not next week, weeks? but the week after. Two weeks. Yep. But now. you can find it on Twitch right now as an archive for like um, the next seven days or whatever. And I was just watching. Uh, I was commentating and watching two other people play, mm -hmm. and I noticed a lot of things uh, that I've like never been able to like. I don't think I would have noticed it in the game. Yeah, I'm not. Well, I'm not sure if I would have, but I noticed it just watching. Like what? Such as? Um, so there was a. Well, give me an example. Okay. Your turn, your turn, your turn. Uh, what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, What do you got? <laughs> um, so, one of the the things that. Uh, Yes, you and. had committed a. You were playing Vega. Yes. And uh, Tyler was playing Reptile. Reptile. Yeah. Um, and during your turn, you had committed a uh, a good number of foundations, so it was a good turn for him to swing in. Yeah. And he started his turn that way. Um. And at a certain point, it was his second attack. 
the second card in his card pool, second attack. Um, you, I believe you'd already used Vega. Okay. Uh, and uh, you, you used uh, your committed strict mentor to give him minus to the next check. Right. And he had uh, just committed a Dreaming of Becoming Whole, and he had one momentum. And he wasn't going to use that momentum for anything. Right. Um, so I thought that he should uh, use the enhance on uh, Dreaming of Becoming Whole, uh, discarding the momentum, and then respond ready it. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, that cancels out both Vega and the card that I played. Right. And then... Uh, it became cemented when you went to block that attack with a reduction and breaker two in. Right. Uh, so I think he could have like pushed through it if he would have done it right. But um, he ended up just playing a foundation like passing. And then I got to ready and I was just like yeah. prepared to defend again. Yeah. 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 That's fair. I think that's like one of the big things when it comes to like watching the game is you do get better if you're like actually focusing and paying attention to it, which is why I like commentating so much because I have to like I'm playing both sides. Right. I'm playing both sides and I'm like trying to make the right calls, the right plays. And I can tell that I'm getting better at understanding the game, which the uh, in these specific instances, when in the last retro event, I was commentating with both. Uh, Jesse Cervini and Kevin Broberg and every time that a player would go to do something I'm like the right play here is to play this card and then they'd instantly play it and I'm like okay and the next three enhances are bing 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 and then they go bing 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 and I'm like perfect and they end up winning the game because of it I'm like I'm I feel like I'm getting better just watching commentating learning playing both sides okay all right because like it was so hard watching uh and and I'll try not to do any spoilers I was trying to sit here and try and figure out how does Zolt beat Johnny Cage Right, and I'm sitting here, and I'm looking at Zolt's staging area. I'm looking at Johnny Cage's staging area, and that match is so one-sided for Johnny Cage, and the fact that Zolt beats his ass so bad in the Campus Championship that we just recorded. I'm just kidding. That doesn't happen. <laughs> I, think, I think the answer is just you don't multiple. You play a full real game. So it's interesting that Your you say that nothing. because I think the only way that that Zolt deck beats Johnny Cage is you have to actually deck him. That. Johnny Cage deck. Correct. And and so that Zolt, that Johnny Cage is you have to you have to deck Johnny Cage. And the only way that you get to do that is by forcing him to respond and gain his one back on every mm-hmm. multiple that you do. So he'll be at thirty life. That's what I'm saying. Like I think the I think the game plan <laughs> is just you attack normal. He's not allowed to face tank those. He yeah, he just blocks tank. Them. Yeah. Which is fine. It gets cards out of his hand, runs through his deck just the same. It also didn't. I don't know. It also didn't help that I built three five hundred dollars sunglasses like both games. Correct. I mean, yeah. I, I it was it was actually a wash, and it was really really tough to try and figure out. Hey, how does Zolt do this? And it was nigh impossible. I just don't think there's. I just don't think it's a way. Like the only way that we could have done it is the deck had Humphrey Spiders and Dragons, and I just didn't put it in there because I didn't want any three decks three diffs in my deck because I was playing Gover Intent. As you do. As you do. Uh, my week's been good at making some small epiphanies, one of which is a topic on the show, so we'll save that for a bit. Played Scorpion, played, um, played Vega, played Song Mina on tabletop against Chris Bromley and, uh, Jose. Yeah, I love those characters. I just love them so much, <laughs> uh, especially Scorpion Vega. Like, I feel, I just feel so comfortable in those decks. Like, uh, there's like, they're exactly my play style. Hey, my foundations actually don't do anything, but somehow they they push my game plan forward. And like, the way that I play these cards is like making me find a win. But like, if you look at the staging area itself, it looks very weak. Like, I, I just, I really enjoy that kind of kind of game plan that happens. That the evil symbol gets to give me. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. At the same time, I'm still getting bodied by good decks. <laughs> bodied. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this will go ahead and just uh, bring us into our, our first topic. Speaking of uh, Jose and Chris Bromley, Chris Bromley is actually going to be uh, co-commentating with me on the next retro event, which is happening uh, in the mid-November. So, cool, cool, cool. Uh, and so we have to actually talk about the retro ban list that is out. Fellas, um, they banned a singular card. Blindfold. Meteor. They banned Meteor. Scarlet. Uh, that is no longer on the ban list. It's red, so it is left. Oh. Yep. Oh, dude, it's a fucking big problem. 
holiday cheer back. Uh, they brought it back last week. This Did is actually, okay. I think, uh, I think this is actually old. Uh, I don't actually think this even. The, now that I saw holiday cheer on there, um, we can even just exit out of this page. Like it doesn't even matter. Oh. It's not up there. <clears throat> but anyways, they banned Scarlet Meteor. Damn. Thoughts. Uh, about, they're preparing for about time. <laughs> Expand upon these thoughts. They're preparing for standard about time. It's too good. We talked about it multiple weeks. I've talked about it since it came out. Card has too much words on it. Well, here's the thing: the meteor's not banned in standard. It's just banned in retro. I said, I said they're getting ready. Okay, they're getting ready for standard. I don't think they ban it in standard. Fuck, I think you're crazy. I don't think that they're allowed to. Boy, I don't I, think you can ban a third ultra rare from. Uh, I think you Libra of Souls, can. especially if they do it right before the set uh, before a new set release. I think they're fine. Man, I'm gonna I, be. I agree. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you. After playing seven, six or seven games today, uh, that was the most underwhelming attack card in my deck. Well, it doesn't do anything That's, for your game plan. Though. I think I give you Cowboy Andy with Meteor, and you have just a yeehaw of a time. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I think your deck, your specific deck, uh, does not capitalize on Meteor the way that Meteor wants to capitalize. Hmm. Johnny Cage does. Get a lot out of Meteor, for sure. Don't get it twisted. But you'd he much rather... And, and how often did you draw it, really? Um, I was playing like three or four. Uh, I like never draw it against, never drew it against James or Jeff, and then I only drew it twice against you for, yeah. to try and block. I think I think that's actually the uh, the issue. It's like you never saw it. Like, that card does so much work for no reason. Yeah. For free. It's the same reason I'm following with Shotgun. But anywho, but anywho, but anywho. Uh, they have banned Meteor, which means that Andy is uh, has slightly fallen off his horse. Um, blindfold loops do not exist yep. any longer. Um, you can still loop cards, but it's way harder, and you don't have just like a free powerful attack to just pick back up, right? Um, Goro is still gone. Um, I think this is a very healthy change to the retro format. Uh, it does mean that things like Iori are still like possibly the best aggro monsters in the game like you might just still be the best eu uh, characters yeah. um iori two dot but uh yeah i think it's i think it's fine the other big thing is if you will i've pulled up ufs ultra uh did you make a new ufs ultra tab or did you use the one that i had It, yeah, that one. yeah it should be this one. Down. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Will you go to... Um, Internet shot? Yes, please. Okay. No problem. So the other big thing is they are letting the six-point promos be legal. And not even necessarily the uh, characters out of the packs. Keep scrolling for me. But the Shadow War characters are going to be legal for this next event. So we've got like Clark 2, we've got Vespera 2, we've got Mature, like all of those. Those are all legal. Mr. Karate, I believe, is still legal. But like I pulled it up. Here's Tim Juin, and I actually want to talk a little bit about these characters. I don't believe any of their support is real, um, but this guy is a 6 hand size, 26 health, discard momentum, your attack gets 3 damage, E commit top 2 cards of your, uh, add the top 2 cards of your deck, your momentum, only playable if you've dealt damage with a non-throw attack this turn. Thoughts on this character? Uh, I personally think that this character is good. I think this character will be good. A better Aaron Black. Slightly, it's a slightly different, but Aaron Black. Oh uh, yeah, like I was saying earlier, uh, like this card with Royal Poison, is just really good. Yeah, this guy with Royal Poison is good, um, and I'm sure there are plenty of other cards um, that you can exploit with it as well. He just reminds me of Kung Jin, right? Yeah. He's like Kung Jin point five. Doesn't give speed, but gives more damage. Yep. So with that said, I don't know why I wouldn't just play Kung Jin because speed's way better than damage. Because you can't play Royal Poison. With Kung Jin? What? No. He's got all three of Kung Jin's symbols. Air, Chaos, oh, Fire. Kung Jin has air? Yeah. Oh, yeah, huh. Yeah. So, you Sorry, certainly can. I was thinking Liu Kang. Uh, but what the thing is, is like, so with the Royal Poison game plan, is it, this guy's better because he says enhance commit, and Kung Jin just says form once per game, yeah. stuff your two. So, like, if you can use that enhance commit one, more than once. Get dancing Tempested? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> that does seem pretty... <laughs> free? That does seem pretty good. Jeff, what are your thoughts on uh, Tim Juin? Like Actually, I really like this card, too, because of uh, spike support as well with like the ships and stuff like that. And you can like clear a card pool and ready him back up to get two more momentum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Covert but Intent is legal. You can play my Sagat deck. Under Fire, um, you get Nomai. That seems neat. Nah. Under Chaos, you get um, Rising Monk. Sure. Got a, it only discards ranges, Range. though. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, you get Rising Monk under all symbols. Do you know True. what's a ranged attack? Good point. Good point. No, it's I not, do not. It's not ranged. What card? What? Oh, no, it which might, of? Sp- be, I which say, of Spike's I wanna cool s- cards? I want to say it's M three C. Uh, no, it's a weapon. Weapon charge. Weapon tech. Charge. Weapon tech charge. Uh, y- Yi like Shang. Minutes. Oh yeah, Yi Shang is the next one that matters. What's up, Hobbs? Uh, six twenty nine. It's got all of Cassandra's car- symbols. This attack gets X damage. X equals the total number of character cards in your staging area. He's a stacker. He's got. He's a five diff. Uh, this attack gets minus damage. X equals the number of characters in your opponent's staging area. X equals the total number of characters in your opponent's staging area. So he beats other stackers. Yeah. So the character is useless. This Gross. character does nothing. Yep. Okay. Moving on. Jadel. We'll say that one more time. Jadel. All right, 625. Uh, Nick Nick also says that there's more that actually aren't on Ultra. Huh. That's what uh, Nick Re- Reagan says. Uh, can he give me a link to those cards? For a player, That'd be cool. Makes a check to play a card Louder. As a form. Oh, I was just reading it to myself. But Into okay. the mic. Our commit before a player makes a check to play a form. They must discard the top card of their deck. Their control check is negative X. X equals the control, card, uh, the control of the card discarded. Then this check does not in their combat phase. Interesting. Uh, I think this character is underwhelming. Whoa. Discard through momentum. Ready this character. Play walk. <laughs> that's a that's a bit of a cost. Whoa. Yep. Uh, this character is bad. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but and yeah, <laughs> uh, it's t- cool. Trying to make it work in my head. Like, look, she has a cool hat. She yeah, does have a cool like hat. Me, uh, chaos. If you wanted to. Tim said, uh, "Shan's a sideboard character." Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you'd have to sideboard him and other ones. I don't know. Oh well. So if you play against like a true stacker, you don't even need this. You could just use this. No, you don't need the damage. You just build a good deck, do things. Just and Earth and Good can definitely do that. Yeah. All right, keeps going. Zime. Uh, response: Destroy a foundation after and after you play an attack, not as a block. Commit one foundation in your opponent's staging area. One for one. Of them. Ain't bad. Uh, it's interesting. I think this character. Is the fact that I get to pick the foundation is very good. I'll destroy one of my. Bad committed cards to get rid of I yours. I don't think Truong is back. I think he. I think he might okay. actually still be cool. banned. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Uh, but Iori two dot is back off the. Or Iori three, Kyo three, and my three Ooh. are off the list. Kyo um, three's back. Damn. Enhance Kyo commit voice. your opponent. Your oppo- your opponent commits X foundations. X equals the desperation rating. This attack. That's actually really good. Yeah. Desperation response, check a five. After your opponent plays a form of responsibility printed on a foundation, destroy that foundation. Wow. Wow. This character's actually really good. Yeah. After you play a form of responsibility printed on a foundation, destroy that foundation. Yeah. It's got two Tagore Brothers targets. I think this character's actually very it's good. It's the other side of Tagore Brothers. I think it's actually <laughs> really good. Nice. Uh, Q3 is fucking nuts. In hands, check a four. Your attack gets plus X damage or plus X speed. Your choice. X equals the number of cards in your opponent's hand playable while committed. Uh, All Might? It's just All Might. Yeah. Okay. And then form commit. Your next control check this turn gets X. X equals the number of cards in your opponent's hand. That's very good. <laughs> it was All Might before. It was cool. So if like... But, but Okay, so to- with this said, All Might does have the condition of Punch and Fury. Whereas Keo just does this whenever he so wants. Like the, the old Keo decks played Piercing How. And when your opponent's trying to play defense, they have four cards in. Piercing How becomes a seven high for four that leaves your card pool. Man. Ooh. And you, then do you back see in. the last symbol on Keo? Fire. Do you know that there's a card that says enhance draw colon, <laughs> enhance draw two, draw two cards, two colon, cards. your opponent draws two? <laughs> That gets stun X. <laughs> yeah, man. And then gets X speed. And then my three uh, is a after you play an, ooh, she's a stacker. Uh, response after you play an attack, gain one. Form lose X vitality. For the rest of this turn, your attacks get plus X and plus X. X equals the number of characters in your staging area, only playable once per turn. So you lose vitality in order to get... Plus X plus X. Plus X plus X. Equal to your characters. I love it. Yeah. I know people were very, very excited for my three to come back. Yep. It makes my one even better. Uh, my two as well, right? Like I, I, so I, I don't know why people wouldn't is, be playing. Uh, my two doesn't get played as with uh, my one. They have way two different game plans. Okay, but I mean, there's no there's no stopping. With the to. gauge symbol, like there's no reason for people not, not to be playing to them. Right? Maybe a chance to do it. Yeah. 
Like we easily play my one with fire and then just stack on my three. Yep. Moon Ritual Dance is a good card. Moon Ritual Dance getting plus three, plus three. Ten for five. Seems okay. As just a four diff coming at you. Yeah. Stack your character in. Uh, Nick said it's not letting him post a link in the chat. Lame. Lame. I've had that problem too. Uh... <coughs> all right, but yeah, pull it up. what are your thoughts on these characters? Uh, is that all of them? Yeah, that is all of them. Yep. What are your thoughts on these characters? Uh, and if you could fix my lower third and just talk about retro. Oh, my bad. You're all good. Uh, what are your thoughts on these characters affecting retro as a format? I think they're really cool coming back. Do you I'm think the they're going to make stuff, a splash? Uh, I think Keo and Mai definitely can. Do you see any of them topping? Uh, my, I can see my topping, especially with gauge existing. Just going to dump those on and just plus X plus X everything. Thoughts? Mm, I don't know. Maybe I don't. I personally kind of don't really see it, but I also don't see it. I don't. I don't see how your uh, game has to. Be, I. I. I'm not saying that they're bad characters, but I think that you're. You're. Your game has to be so tight. It's like, instead of... It doesn't have to be. Instead of the other people in, can mess up and still be all right. Will you check my Discord and see... Yep, I'm loading Okay, right cool, cool, cool. Uh, hold up. This link will take you to Google Hard Drive. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I, uh... Oh, gosh. Um, uh, there are a lot more? This is what I'm seeing right now. Uh, that is not right. That's not. I don't okay. think you go to the, right the link. TCGU Discord. Okay, well I clicked on the same thing again that he sent me. Huh? He said he sent it to Tam personally. Nick, check your link, buddy, because these are definitely the card templates for the fan sets that you sent me. Uh, Look Tim, at Tim, you didn't post link. a link. There's no link here. It's in the TCGU Universes Discord. All right. Let me just... There it is. We're stopping the whole show. We're figuring this out. Is it under General? Universes General? Oh, hey. I found him. All right. Neat. Sweetness. Uh... Tim, it's still not in the chat. Can I pull this over, please? Can I pull this over, please? Can I have? Thank you. Oh, wow. There's a lot, huh? All right. So the, we already looked at these two. So <coughs> boom. Okay. So we've got R Rasotep. Response commit discard X cards after your opponent's ready step. Commit X non-character cards in their staging area. Neat. Interesting. Drop bad cards, commit things. Order can draw a bunch of cards. So can evil. Yeah, I think it's bad. Uh, while this card is ready, you may commit weapon assets. I right, we're already good because weapon assets are all over the place. As if they were foundations to pass control checks. Neat. Um, response. You after you play a weapon, attack. Discard the top three cards of your deck. For each weapon card discarded this way, your attack gets plus one speed. Wow, that sounds like a fun deck. I'm not sure if that it's going to be a good deck. Really fun. I agree. I agree. <laughs> uh, response, commit. After you block an attack, draw X cards. X equals the block modifier of the of your block. Neat. I'll block with this three and draw three cards. That seems good. Response, commit a foundation. After you uh, check a reversal when attempting to block an attack, add the checked reversal to your hand, a playable while committed. Uh, if anybody, this guy's going to do something. Right? Yeah, this guy says draw X cards and then play a reversal for free. Water's, for, water's nuts with the reversals. Yeah. Yo. Uh, under all, you can, under all and water, you can fiddlesticks and stack a reversal that they you've hit them with. It, it just, make your check yeah, commit. Check bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down for it. Dang, it's not under good. good you, you get can... the bakery poster girl, so if you do no, not good, have bad not. checks, you're going to pass it easily. Hard. Yeah. I, I think this guy's cool. So far, he's like he's my favorite one. I like that he looks like Zeus. <laughs> he's old. He's just an old little fuck. <laughs> Is there anybody else? Is that it? 
Oh, that's, oh, look. There was a link, but the link wasn't in the yeah, YouTube chat. Yeah, it's definitely not showing up on our uh, on our end. Um, and then they said that she actually got eroded to forms only. To forms? Yep, to forms only. For your opponent, makes control check to play a form. Oh, oh, this is the eroded version. This is the eroded version. Okay, cool. they must do a thing. Okay, need, 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 need. Uh, so with that said, they're still not going to do anything. Yeah. Zero chance. They're just they're just going to get mollywopped by Iori. They're still going to get mollywopped by Wily and Raptor, and they're still going to get mollywopped by King. I don't know why nobody's playing King, right? Like all of all of these characters like are mm-hmm. just power creeped out. But if you want to play them, neat. I'm very excited fun. to see. You can have fun just sticking as many weapons into that one character. I'm very excited to see how cool of a day that you will have going even. You will have a very fun <laughs> even day. I want to I want to play that. I want to play that Astrid. What was there that her name? Yeah. It is now. It, All it is. just literally Every weapon. Every weapon possible. <laughs> it's a bunch of assets. Probably under all. But it sounds pretty cool. You get uh stolen sword under yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. And fire. See, that's what I was thinking was fire weapons. If you go with all you get to play um, but you get good from uh, science. Yeah, well and you get good assets. And meteor Meaty not. What do you even do? Uh, I think the big thing steel is Steel Res. Steel res? You do get steel res, you do get that okay card. While you guys discuss that, I'm gonna look at fire weapon thing. Sure, man. <laughs> um, no, I think uh, exploding frame roar. <laughs> roar. roar. Uh, I think uh, I'm excited for retro, honestly, because meteor is gone. It's just gonna change up the the main format. I still think that Andy is a monster, but I just don't think that he's like he's he's not a werewolf during the full moon, right? <laughs> It's like during a harvest full moon, like the craziest, biggest, deepest full moon you've ever seen. I mean, he's my just a werewolf. Deck just built a bunch of cards, and it didn't play meteor. Right, and he's um, horseless. Wait, does uh? Sorry, I I got distracted Ooh. by something. This is totally off topic. Never mind. Go ahead. No, you want to you want to pivot real fast? You can pivot. It's like the Ooh. most off topic. I was just thinking about my pet deck. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's a little off topic. Um. No, I'm excited for Retro. Catch out the Retro stream over on twitch.tv slash TCUniversity. Uh, the day that it's happening, we'll be streaming all day, including Top 8. It's going to be very, very fun. I think I do want to move on, though. Yeah. I do want to move on. Uh, will you change my lower third? Yes, of course I will. To Major Theory Craft. Not last weekend, but the weekend before sure. was Nationals. Or it was the weekend we were supposed to have nationals. We we were supposed to be last oh, two weekends snap. ago. We were supposed to be in Atlanta playing cards. Um, it in sucks a, in an alternate timeline. In an alternate timeline, it sucks. It does not feel good. So my question is, what were you playing for teams? What were you playing for singles? We have a very we have a very figured out format. What are you doing? Goros, I have no clue. Uh, so with with let me let me. Bring it a little further, and Nick, we can talk about that uh, after this topic. Um, that's like very, very short. Uh, if you have What's three, that? no cracker. If you have three of you on a team, knowing what exists inside of the uh, inside of the the format, what three decks do you give each of you, if each of yourselves to play? So you have a, t- a team of three of you. You have a th- team of three of you. I have a team of three of me. Okay. What are you? What are you playing? Uh, Safidia. This is for teams, right? Well, you said I pay, I'm picking three decks for me playing as my team. Of yep. three, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got a guy with a mohawk, and you've got a guy with a twiddly mustache. But they're all me. And they're all you. They're all James oh, Stevens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, AK, Goro, Safidia. Why? They're my three best decks, and I think they're all really good. Okay. I think Goro is S tier. I think Safidia, the way I played, is S tier. And I think I could play Asimov Karin as an A tier. The Mohawk guy can for sure. I don't know about you, but the Mohawk yeah, Mohawk yeah. James, ooh, AK Master. The, the the Mohawk guy, first place at Worlds, easy. No second, Damn, no I second place, have, no I shot. Should have had a you should add a Mohawk. <laughs> I think it's so interesting because like that's very much uh, that's very much your game plan of just like I'm just gonna go yeah. and win, right? Yeah. 
Uh, this I guess my team's game plans because well, I, I guess if like if it's a team of me, I don't really care. Yeah, it is a team I of play, you. I play a t- I play teams for other people, not for me. <laughs> I play. I cover for my team. Every single time I've gone on your guys' team, I always play the well, slow deck. All three of you should be covering for just teams if you're all three oh, yeah. the same person, right? Yeah. And so what's the best team comp that you could make? Those As you're thinking, I'm going to go back. Those would be my three. I have no idea. Give me a starting point and we can talk it out. Right? Uh, so so whenever it comes to... You've played in one major, right? Yeah. Uh, it was Worlds last year. I just don't... I just have no idea because it's like we've been just living in a meta metalist world have we yes well uh, we have here yes we don't have a meta here yo fit i like your team comp i uh i disagree i think there was very obviously the meta that exists inside of standard i can i can tell you the top 10 characters inside of standard easy peasy when we play here yeah he hasn't played here. he just plays here where we randomly choose different characters Mm -hmm. we can't play the same character every week where we have planned videos we're doing. So for him, there is no meta. Sure. He's not playing in a meta. But you are. You're playing every character in the game. Like, every character exists. Like, every character. Mm-hmm. Sure, you're not playing the same character, but everybody else is playing everything, right? And so you should know what naturally is going to float to the top and the end of the bottom. I guess. That's still not like... That's like tier, but not meta. Explain that to me. So there's like... We have our... We just go by the pods, right? Pod one, whatever. A tier. Sure. As tier. If that's that's how we have to look at it. But I don't think that those are are tier lists at all. Um, But... They're technically our meta list. Um... Meta is different because you have to be able to know not just what's in that whole pod, but what people are going to be playing and how to counter it. Yeah. It's like our meta changes every week. Every single week our meta changes. Pod one, our Mm -hmm. meta is pod one and some of pod two. Pod two is pod two and some of pod three. Pod three is pod three and pod some of pod four. Because I like playing dumb decks. But, like, it's not like our meta is, I'm playing pod three. Well, I can expect pod one and pod two to show up. You're not. You're not going to expect those to show up. That's are not you, your meta. Are you building your decks that way? Are you building your decks inside of the campus championship because you know that pod three, pod four, pod five aren't going to be there in pod one? No, I just build my decks however I want to build them. Okay. But I'm saying when you're building and, like, the way you build a meta is to predict what you're going to play against. Yeah. Those characters matter. Whether or not you're going to play against a Goro, whether or not you're going to play against a Jetta or a Gil, or what all those. Sure. Like, those matter. Okay. When you're looking at these pods, Hell yeah. Hell we go yeah. to pod two. All right, so we totally agree. Now, what I'm telling you is tomorrow, I have rubbed my magic lamp. There is no pandemic. You get to go play. Yeah. The three decks you're playing are here, and you have no idea what it is that you're playing? You have no idea what other people are playing? I, well, I have an idea. Yes, but, but like... like I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you. I just think it's I just think it's baffling that like uh you just you just have like no no clue. Get off my podcast. <laughs> just kidding. An enigma. Uh I th- I think like uh we saw Kevin Broberg and I have been racking my brain on how to beat Kevin Broberg and I finally figured it out. Right? Like Kevin Broberg is an A plus S tier character. Like I think he's insane. I think he's crazy. I haven't seen it once. You weren't here whenever Mark Tanner came and played no. as Kevin Broberg too. Uh, we will make that, no. and yeah, you will you will not have fun. You nah. won't you won't have fun. Nah. Uh, there's no way that Kevin Broberg two dot is not uh, is not represented on one of my teams. Zero chance. And to fight Kevin, we have to play Combat Ash because Combat Ash is the like one of the only decks that I think that can consistently fight with Kevin. Combat Ash. And then there is a third deck that I have to figure out, and I can't. I don't know if it is Andy or some other character, um, because I think uh, I think every team should have a combat action legal and standard right now. Uh, <laughs> nice try. Um, 
I think that there is uh, Combat Ash and uh, Kevin Broberg are unbelievably crazy. I think they're they are like top 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 tier. I think that Andy is top 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 tier. I think he just smelts people. Um, I think he can. I think he can do forty very easily. Yeah, just I, I melt you. Against Safidia, not he was against Safidia, not Sure. Not Totally, totally, totally. Um, and so to the point of like, is it Andy? I actually think I might, and this might just be my personal bias, I would put Scorpion in, in Andy's place. But at the same time, like I don't know, I don't even know if Scorpion can get through uh, Kevin. Like I just don't think he can. I don't think I can burn myself enough in order to get my the, the all of my attacks to do lethal. And he's going to play my, he's going to play. Is he gaining life? Is he gaining life? Yeah. No, he's a Prince of Paradise. No, the one I just play like a slow, ga- slow burn game. Uh, because eventually the he'll kill you. How? Uh, pulse flare. He'll put you to lethal, and then he will. His his turn is that he'll play uh the Natali card from the back of Red Horizon that says uh, every time that you respond you burn for four. Yeah. And then he'll play a pulse flare. Yeah. And he's got nothing but twenty face downs, and he'll put it to exactly lethal. And then he'll put it to uh, the speed that he yeah. needs. And then when you go to block, he'll turn Kevin sideways, and he has 20 assets in his staging area. And so your check is minus 20, and he killed you. All right, to the next one. And then you try to assault back on him, and he'll be like, oh, Princess Perry, hit you for the five. Get my momentum. I have my foundations. And then we'll do the same thing. Pulse fire. Kill you. Yeah, super, super annoying, which is why I think like the only way to fight uh, him is Combat Ash, because Combat Ash gets just mainboard Dark Chirito, and Combat Ash gets very easy momentum generation. Combat Ash can also just decide not to play the game. Correct. Combat Ash gets very easy momentum generation, so that protecting the protector, he doesn't get his Dark Chirito flipped by... Uh, the card you didn't play today. The card I didn't play today. And I didn't play it, it was uh, Baron Tech. World Without Battle. Um, but yeah, that's there's... There's the game plan, right? And so Kevin beats every tier two or lower deck. Like, you just you just lose. There's no more you can do about it. And then Ash beats every tier two or lower deck. You got to, like, really rush him down. And then Andy beats anybody who's just a little slow. Who's anybody trying to play fair? Cowboy Andy? Anybody who's trying to race card, you beat the race card. Right. So that's it. Yep. It's the, it's the Luke Kane, Luke Kane thing. You mirror match because Correct. you don't take the chance that he yeah, beats yeah. something that's slower. But with that said, like there are still dark horses that exist in the game. I think Mina's okay, but I don't think she's a very good team's deck. Um, Chris Bromley was talking about Yoshi being able to fight uh, Kevin because of how quick that he is and getting to loop up his checks and attack as early as possible. I think that's fine. Um, I think Ken could easily do it accidentally, but I just don't think that Ken can get through. I think I don't think Ken can get through Ash's defense that he gets to play every single turn. Because, like, Ash gets to play both Swordfish and Drossel every turn and always have them. Um, <laughs> every turn. Um, and they'd be like, oh, discard Cormorant. Hey. Um, and then you've got uh, Kevin, who is also just setting up a big wall. And as, as soon as you can get up behind your wall, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. <coughs> but, yeah, with that, with that said, like, uh, singles... Probably just play Scorpion again. Or Astroth. I actually would maybe... I'm probably playing I'll play Scorpion. I'm playing Sophia. Scorpion, duh. Scorpion, duh. I just love him too much. And I've already got the costume made. To save on funds. It's like going with the costume. And I have a mask. Social distancing, baby. <laughs> I've already got the mask. <laughs> well, if the coronavirus is over, you don't need a mask. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you... If you were to play singles, what would, what, where were you... Where's your head at? What would you think? What would you play right now? I don't know. From the campus championships, what have been what's been like your most favorite deck? What have you just like enjoyed? Oh god, I finally found this character. No, I'm nothing. Sorry, I'm, you're I'm just being extremely unhelpful. You're just I not. Have no idea. Just hate. Oh, you just hate. Uh, it's gone. You just hate all the campus championships we've played. <laughs> None of them have been fun. I don't know. I can't. I can't really remember anything. No, I don't want that. That's fair. I use goldfish memory. No, Please. that's fair. That's fair. To Kate, sorry. I don't know. Too. 
Singles, I'd like to play Win. I think you're insane. I don't think Win's a good character. I Jose, we gotta play this Win deck if you're if you're putting this much on it. Like, <laughs> I think he's really fucking cool, but I think he's a B tier character. Zero at chance. Best. <laughs> I think he's a B tier character at best. At best? Yeah. At best? Yeah. Man, you are shooting real high for Win. <laughs> well, like if you if you get if you get his characters on board, he's gonna fuck you up with something. Hmm. 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 But like, hmm. as long as you stop from getting all four, you don't have to fucking worry about anything. I just uh, he dies to a bell. Like, he dies to Big Ben. I, I love it, Tim. I actually just, uh, just want to play like really good UFS. I just want to play Universes so bad, and uh, I'm very excited for these pet decks because of us like playing our absolute best, right? <laughs> that's what you've asked for is yeah, to is to because, actually play. Um, well, I want to actually play no, that's games. Just, yes, what you that's what you've said. Uh. I'm I'm excited for that. I am bummed that we didn't have nationals, but I think that this is really fun and a fun exercise because of how much we have had inside of this format, Finally. right? Like this format has has been pseudo figured out. Like we know what exists, yeah. right? Like the good deck that was just played as Johnny Cage for this week's campus championship. You change what thirty or uh, twenty cards in that, and you've got a totally different good deck, right? Yeah. Like the good symbol has been figured out. That's what you play. Um, for evil, I mean, none of us mentioned a Hellfire deck, right? No, I don't. I actually don't think a Hellfire make, deck makes it past like top sixteen, top eight. Really? Yep. Well, my Hellfire Salinka Punch and Judy deck's gonna eat your lunch. That That's, was another pet deck I was gonna play for tomorrow. I, that's like Salinka's on one of my top like three, like one of my three, four, like five S. Uh, I'm not counting like because I haven't played against Broberg, so I can't do that. I'm not counting uh, Combat Ash because um, if you'd like, I'll deck. make Broberg for Sunday. Oh. Shit. I don't mind sitting and staring at you for a couple hours. I don't think you're gonna beat my Goro deck. Okay. I really don't. Especially if you think it's a slow deck, it's not gonna get through Goro. You gotta get to those uh foundations real quick, boy. <laughs> okay. That Goro deck does not move slow. You're right. Like that Goro deck will keep pace with <gasps> everything. Your Goro deck will win because you play Dark Cherryto, right? I play Dark Trito and yeah, I play... Yeah, and that's, that's why. I also, I plan on maining two of the um, um, fucking pop two. Uh, Fido, I don't know which which word you meant to fix. I don't know if it's Broberg is so bad against Goro or if Goro is so bad against Broberg. I don't know because you said Goro <laughs> twice and then <laughs> fixed Broberg. <laughs> like, I, like, I also don't think, like, I, I don't think that Goro deck has a problem with uh, Combat Ash either. Interesting. I I plan on maining two of um, the asset destruction card. The destroy the asset. Yeah. Okay. So like that just controls both Broberg and the other one. Like I just, just because like I like assets are just that fucking good right now that I ha you have to have a couple. I of am super down for our time. We should definitely make Combat Ash to play on Sunday. We should make Kevin Broberg play on Sunday because I think I think these two two characters are very much not fair, not fun. I don't think I don't think Combat Ash should exist. Uh, yeah, I agree. But he does, and so we gotta we gotta play with him. Why would I not play with him? I, I, I own every I card Broberg's, in the game. I think that's Broberg's why I'd put him on a team. Combat Ash is gonna be should be a thing. When did Combat Ash become legal? I think he's legal right now. I think when they came out with him, like when they when you were able to I know buy him off the Jasper site. It was when they site. banned. It was when they banned uh, the characters. I'm fairly positive that he's not legal for retro, but he is legal in standard. Because I was literally just looking at the. Um, link that Tim had posted. I really hope he's not like one of them, like uh, the Princess and the P characters, where they, he's just a test thing. Because like, it'd be fucking real lame. I still want those. I still want. I, I want the Cheshire Cat so bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Uh, with this timeline in mind, Combat Ash will be legal in standard format starting June first. Neat. Um, how much time are we at on the podcast? Uh, uh, I did not start recording. Uh, stopwatch. Oh, can you uh, just... Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I think it's like 54. 44 minutes. 44? 45. All right, we're going to take a small commercial break, and then we will be right back.
This episode of Steady Hall is sponsored by InkedGaming.com. Are you looking to get a custom playmat? Well, then we suggest you check out InkedGaming.com. They have custom playmats, dice bags, mouse pads, and so much more. They even recently added a stitch option to their playmats and mouses as well. Inked Gaming lets you play your game with your style. And if you want 10% off your entire order, use the code TCGUNIVERSITY, all caps, no spaces at checkout, to help support us by customizing your game to your style. Cards Custom Build, are you into cosplay? Looking to get into cosplay? Do you want to show up to events dressed as your favorite character? Well, then Cards Custom Build can help. Cards Custom Build creates everything from cosplay accessories like props, trinkets, weaponry, all the way up to full-blown costumes. Do you want your costumes made from a perfectly flowing cloth or maybe a rigid battle armor? Well, Cards Custom Build has you covered. Their work is guaranteed to make you the talk of the con. So go over to Cards Custom Build either on Facebook or on their Etsy account. Links will be in the description down below. And make sure you mention that TCG University sent you their way and you'll get 5% off your entire order. Dex Protection is on a never-ending pursuit to create the highest quality storage and protection accessories. Their designs and innovation come from diehard gamers and collectors just like you. So they know what you want in the products that you buy. They're constantly taking in feedback from their customers, and they have no plans of stopping their innovation or drive to refine the products until they are recognized as a leader in their industry. They make terrific products, all with the avid gamer and collector in mind. So go ahead, check them out. A link will be in the description down below. Red Riot Games. Red Riot Games is a personal friend of the show. Um, they have they are the new kids on the block when it comes to singles delivery. They have currently Magic, Pokemon, and Universal singles available to you. So if you're interested in those hard types, please go out to redriotgames.ca. Like I said, a new kids on the block in the singles market and are looking to make a really big splash. And they have partnered up with us to give you the absolute best deal possible. Once again, redriotgames.ca. And at checkout, if you use the code TCG underscore university, you'll get 10% off your entire order. Once again, Magic, Universes, Pokemon, on. They're they're coming up in the world, so you'll definitely want to get in on the ground level. Red Riot Games. All right, so we're back. Um, last topic of the night, since nobody wants to talk fun meta stuff with me, I'm sorry that I wanted to play really cool competitive UFS gonna, about gonna nationals. I just no, don't it's think fun. there is competitive I UFS. Right I understand. Now. I just wanna I wanted to live in a world. Well, I wanted of course, to... Jeff. UFS is dead. Exactly. Speaking of UFS <laughs> being dead, um, before the My Hero Academia set comes out. Apparently last week on the Jaffas, I wasn't able to catch the episode because yeah, I'm exactly. I'm a fake fan, a fake gamer boy, as you would. So this is all rumors from our chat from earlier today. This is all rumors from the chat. Apparently, Jason said that there is a potential for a Street Fighter set to come out before My Hero, um, which would be really rad. And so uh, uh, obviously, this is upsetting. all speculation. This is all, and and what I want to turn this into is I want to turn this to turn into your want list. What do you want out of a Street Fighter? set that is my question for you two gentlemen and myself and michael the producer i want a sakura that's good to play it's the one one the rest of the second right, trash right at the, front, the character yes. card could be that's what we need i want sakura to be playable Shokin. <laughs> okay that's what i want that's that's want number one all right all right uh, number two, I actually want a big Street Fighter set again. Big? Like I like that two hundred, like two hundred card Street Fighter set. I liked, mm. I loved the way they did the release for that Street Fighter set. Here's our cool cast. Uh, so many likes on this, like the Facebook thing where so many, and we revealed a new character, and they did this cool character selection. I love that. Can we do that again? That was my want, right? Is I actually wanted it to be a, a bit of a spectacle when it came to preview season. I want, I liked the spectacle, spectacle that we had last time, but that was really, uh, that was them more of a. I'm trying to get my global reach to be higher because it was all about Facebook likes. It was also about like Street Fighter, such a big set, right? Too. Like As a, a big license. I think having different stretch goals. Stre I said that word really weird. Stretch, stretch goals. goals. Maybe the first character is a bunch of likes. Maybe the next character is a bunch of shares. Maybe the next character is a bunch of X Y Z on a different social media platforms or Comments. or whatever it is that it is. Right. Um, if we get fifty consecutive people watching our our Joffis this next coming Friday, we will unlock the next character for you if on the Joffis. We get to like so many X followers. Right. Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think if we have this sort of strategy and just like uh and building up hype around what's going on, I think I think personally like that is that part of preview season is as important as what do the cards do because it just it just builds excitement like the for the game. Cards aren't doing anything except for the people who already play the game. Like if you're do like the way they did Street Fighter was really cool for people who don't play the card game. Right. Because like it doesn't matter to them what the cards do. They don't know they don't know much of the game. Mm -hmm. But like. 
hey, this company's releasing a game with X, X, and Y character. And then, like, they see, like, the character select screen. They see all these, like, nostalgic type, like, targeting things. Like, it, it works. Yeah. Like, they're going to hit their demographic like that. What about you, Jeff? Is there anything in, in particular that you want from a Street Fighter set? I don't know. A cool Ken. A third Ken? Ooh. I don't want Ken in this set. I do. No, wait, I, want... I, I, didn't, I meant to say Ryu. Yes, that is the answer. I want a, I want another Ken, but I don't want it to be like evil, evil Ken. I want a normal... I want violent a... Ken. Yeah, sure. I want a normal Ken, and then I want to have evil Ryu. Or is it violent Ryu? I don't know. It's evil Ryu. <laughs> But like, just because you doubted yourself. No, it's because I do. <laughs> like, I'm just making a dumb joke because Tim pointed it out. Uh, I want, I want, I want that mechanic. I wish Ryu was more in Dark Star because I think that would be really cool to have like the good versus evil type thing. But like, they're, they're supposed to be like the best friends, and just having it again in the in the next set, but opposites. I want, I want them to do, uh, extra DLC in the back of the set. Extra deal C? Mm-hmm. Like more characters? More characters. A character attack foundation for kind each of, character. Um, sort that they, of the way that like Red Rising does it. Imagine Did imagine uh, the Mega Man and Darkstalkers 10s. Right? Uh, you have character foundation the attack. The non-deck characters. Yep. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's what I want. Uh, so if we don't necessarily gr- get another Vega, I will not be disappointed. Right? But if we got Vega 2 dot and attack and a foundation in the back, I'm down. Right? Even, if we don't I'm need down if they like, just give a character. We don't need another M Bison because we already have two, one from the DLC. So let's do M Bison three with an attack and a thing in the in the background. Pick your eight, twelve characters, whatever is your main core set, and make it and crush it, and then have honestly like six characters in the back. That sounds cool, right? Well, why would they do that when they could actually just make it a DLC though? Because uh, I think you can. Point? I think you can do both. Whoa. I think I just think yeah. you can do both. This dude's badass. I mean, I'm I'm down. I just are you looking at Kage? Yeah, yeah. Just coming from a business business standpoint, standpoint, I don't dis I don't disagree with you. I think I think making them two separate products. I think just giving more more value to the main booster set is worth it. Uh, here's what I want out of the out of this uh, thing. I'll start at X. <laughs> I think we should have started X for pretty much every single <laughs> license that we get. I think there's zero zero reason that we should not have a. Uh, I think they were trying to do it with like core sets, which is why I was. Confused why we didn't get one with Soul Calibur. Like yeah, so like the if way we're having a Street Fighter set, we should have another. Yeah. We should have another uh, whatever. Um, I think they should do it just because the first Street Fighter sets kind of rotate its own self out of out of the out of like meta. But like, um, I like the way Weishwartz does it, where um, if a site uh, license is new, or like um, like if a license is just too old. They'll put out new starter decks with that way. Yeah. But if like here's one, and then like four or five months down the road, because Watch Wars releases new sets every week. But like if three, four months down the road they release another set with the same like license, mm-hmm. they won't release the starter deck because they've already got one currently in like their yeah they're like small low meta standard rotation standard. Watch Wars I really have a standard, but like standard rotation type thing. Uh, cost too much to make them, and they don't sell well. Yep. That, that sucks. That, that, is that sucks. I'm trying to get new people into the game, and I have to go tell them to buy a box as opposed to buying a quote unquote starter. Yeah. Like, it, like it's Im- oh, like it's nigh it impossible. Hard. It's impossible to get somebody to go spend a hundred dollars as opposed to twenty dollars like, on a box. You can't even like they're not even able to like short print like those either. Because like if they short print those, and for every reason they sell both, that means everything that the starter decks are just gonna be hella expensive, and no one's gonna have them. Right. <laughs> like so, like you, there's no good into that. Which so, like. I sucks. think I think that's just I, a, I think that's a way to go for it though. Like, do well, like, just do like a single print run or something. Yeah, but like, like if they all sell out, then then, then, then ha- don't, don't put then exclusive has, cards in them. Then nobody has TDs. Nobody will have TDs. No one. Has, that's my shorts. Yeah. No one have starter decks. Like, just, just don't put exclusive cards in them. Well, the thing is, is like, uh, t- so Tim in the chat says, but wait for the rival decks. I don't want to wait for the rival decks because I don't I don't care about my hero. I care about Street Fighter. Right. I don't care about my hero. I've never seen that anime. That that anime sucks. Yeah. Uh, I anime anime is for weebs. I'm a fighting game guy. I'd much rather play with with Ryu and Chun Li again. That's what I said. Right. I, I really I'd rather like play with of... with Ryu and, and Bison, and, and that's what we're playing. That's Guile I mean. and Bison as a starter deck sounds great. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah! Like, I'm so in. Like if they had evil evil Ryu versus like normal Ken, that, that's cool too. Like you are so on this I evil, evil Ryu dick. Ryu so you just bad. I wanted evil Ryu to be in set one. Nah, that's not the rival deck I want. 
Uh, the rival deck I'd want is uh, Vega and Chun Li. Vega Chun Li, I'm also down. Also I'm different. super super down. I just I just feel like that we we have to have a starter deck for everything, for everything. Honda versus Honda Civic. That's, that's the one I want. That's that's great. We have Ryu and Chun Li Turbo Starter. But they're not. Great. You're right. You're right. For the same, but it's the same reason that I can't go pick up starter deck Yugi, um, and and go play Yukio. Like I can't go do that. Like, that's just not a thing I can do. Like, yes, gonna... I can technically go play those cards. You're right, Tim. You got me. You got me free love in the chat. But I I can't go play Yu Gi Oh. I guess can't. Can't, can't. I mean, but with Yu Gi Oh, with Yu Gi Oh though, like I could actually buy a starter or a structure deck in a tournament. But with turbo decks, I can't. Also true. Like so, that's why it's like a big difference. On top of that, like Yu Gi Oh actually makes their starter and structure decks like good. So that's why they sell. <laughs> Sorry, there's a difference between starter and structure. And there's a significant power level between starter and structure. Yeah, that's right? why I'm saying both. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just wanted to make sure that that was like a super, super big point of like ha a structure deck. You could go buy three of a structure uh, deck not, and go top of technically tournament. Technically, you don't need to buy three starter decks for Yu Gi Oh. Uh, the only time you ever do that is for like new archetypes that you really want to play. Starter decks usually aren't that like specific. Free love. I get that it's real tough, but. Uh, my job to being on this podcast is to tell you what I want, and that's that's what I want. Tim, I'm going to let you know, if you just release starter sets for every new license you put out, understandably, they're putting out, like, new licenses, like, back every to back time. to back yeah. to back. But like, with, this, with, like, Soul Cal, if you just did one on the first Soul Cal and didn't, didn't, didn't do it on the second Soul Cal, it still perfectly functioned normal. So the issue with that is, uh, I think the second Soul Cal, and this, this is crazy, I don't like the fact that we got the second Soul Cal so close to the first one. Right, I would much rather ha I would much rather have a Street Fighter set come out instead of the Soul Cal and then like save it for for later. Um, I would rather I would rather them like almost be out. But at the same time, they just time, have another Soul Cal set planned. What? But they have three Soul Cal sets. Planned. They don't. We're out of the characters. Um, they just reprint them. New ones. Reprint them. Not like reprint, but make okay. like new, right. new characters. All right. As long as you clarify. Uh, what else do Real. I want? I'm the opposite of you. I don't want a big set. I want a small little baby set. I want a Street Fighter vs. Darkstalkers set. That's what I want. And I want them to be as good as Street Fighter vs. Darkstalkers. I don't want to be as specific as Street Fighter vs. I want none of the characters from Street Fighter vs. Darkstalkers to exist inside of this Street Fighter set. No Ken, no Chun-Li, no Gil, Even no <laughs> Elena, no... Who the fuck else was in that? Gil. I said Gil. Is that it? Is that everybody? Gil, Elena, Chun-Li, Ken... I'm missing somebody. Akuma, no Akuma. They don't get. They don't get to play no, the game anymore. No, please reprint another Akuma. No, nope, four. You don't get four Akumas. Give Stop. me four Akumas. Stop. I want the lion's mane. Um. Wait, but yeah, I, I want. Uh, I want a lot of the new Street Fighter Five peeps to be in. Hell, I'd be down for the Street Fighter Four peeps. I doubt that we. There's no reason for us to like print Rufus or whatever. Like whoever that guy was, or El Fuerte. We don't need. We don't need them. El Fuerte. El Forte. Hmm. What else do I want from a Street Fighter set? What else do I want? Uh, what I want from a Street Fighter set is I don't want any assets. I think each character should have an action, though. Ooh. Um, and then another thing that I would like is I would like some kind of new mechanic. Um, so what I was thinking was Nikali under chaos and void and his ability is a little bit like rando but it's in reverse where you remove an attack from your own discard pile and play it because nikali eats like warriors from time and like absorbs them Ooh. like that's like his power so i think like reverse rando uh would be really cool that'd be neat um and then i'd also personally like to see sorry i've been just saving this up um i'd like to see colleen uh she's the ice lady from street fighter 5 oh yeah um i would like a good freeze character uh no offense to jeffrey but he just doesn't cut it out cut it sometimes yeah um so yeah i would like to see Fuck colleen. you jeff <laughs> Get it. um i would like to see seth um and i think seth would have like all chaos life something. yeah all chaos life and i think he'd be uh really cool and i think um you could take like eugenia and make it a little bit better and just like enhance check of four target a foundation or your opponent picks a foundation in their staging area and you get that that uh yeah. enhance something like that um in back of set i would like to see an errated gill so gill can come back um 
Interesting. I don't I don't know how you would do it, but um, I would like to see it. That's not your responsibility. Um, I <laughs> um, and then I'd like to see Laura. Um, and I'd like uh to see just Girl Blanca. Um, yeah, I'd like to see a a female character that just solely focuses on stun. Um, I think that'd be really interesting, and just like maybe her uh, f- her ability is just um uh, like if your opponent uh, partial blocks, um once per turn you can R respond stun X or you know commit X cards in your opponent's staging area depending on <clears throat> how much damage it was for the partial block. I love that. Um, and then I'd like to see Rashid, and I'd like to see Rashid uh draw and move and groove uh in the card pool and manipulate a lot of stuff. Air symbol for sure. Um, and then the very last thing I would like to see yeah, good order. is good, not as in the symbol of good, but like playable. actually playable combo punch Balrog. Because I that is probably, in my opinion, the most disappointing thing about the Street Fighter set that's currently out is that Balrog is just like a joke, and it's just really sad. It's really laughable. Like I I made a joke about the fight money earlier, and I just thought about that card, and I was like, man, you know, Balrog is just bad. Uh, like um, I, I just like just have her playing. I'm ex- so my my fighting game of choice behind Super Smash Bros. Melee, which we'll never get in this game, is Street Fighter. Right? I, I I'll, I'll is Street Fighter. Like you know how bad I want to play cool Street Fighter characters all the time. Like, all the time. You know how bad I want to play Ryu 2 Dot and just, like, nerf people? Just, like, smelt them? All the time. I love Street Fighter. I think Street Fighter is, like, super, super cool. So, like, the fact that, like, we got these cool Street Fighter characters from Street Fighter vs. Dark Talkers, I just want more. I just I want, want Tekken. more. Tekken would be real cool. Tekken would be cool. I have played Tekken, like, three times at Beer Cade. I think that's it. Uh, Tim, on, in response to your comment stick. about uh, C Viper not focusing on on stun or Van Helsing, uh, Van Helsing isn't a Street Fighter character, so I'm just telling you what I wanted from Street Fighter. Uh, and as for C Viper, uh, I haven't even read her, but uh, what I hear from everyone is that she's bad. So that's why I, I would like want a good a character. I don't think she's bad, but she's definitely not a Tam ass character, and that's that's her big issue. She's um, missing a few things, but, but I I like her a lot. Um, she doesn't give us plus two speed and draw cards, and so I'm kind of not interested if we're gonna if we're gonna be uh, honest. If I'm honest as well, Laura is my favorite character from Street Fighter Five, oh, and so that's why that's why I'm on that train. She but I'm gonna read Sea Viper right now. Any final thoughts, Jeff, on what you would like from Street Fighter? Just to interject real quick for you, Tim. Uh, personally, I don't want to be held to charge attacks for an enhance, but. I understand why. And it is very, very Street Fighter esque. Huh. Any final thing? James? Nah, we Anything final? I was like, I want yeah. Sakura so bad. I wish Sakura was so much better. I was so happy we said Sakura and Yuri, Yuri never, was leaving. She'll never be Sakura back. Sakura was coming nope. in. Never, she was she'll never be to good. Replace it. Nope. I have a cool idea for a Balrog deck, though. I might play uh... Uh, Nope. <laughs> I mean, you're allowed to. I'm sorry. I'm I've, I've, sorry. I've, I've opened the gates. You're allowed to play whatever you'd like. Uh, her once By per, all means. Once per turn enhances. By all means. means. I'm sweeping everything. All right. Thank you very much, you guys. Um, we will uh, we will catch you guys next time. This has been a blast of a podcast. I really appreciate it. Um, even if Jeff is indecisive and he can't, <laughs> he doesn't know what he wants as a player or whatever or whatnot. Right. So it's okay, Jeff. That's all right. <laughs> but here's what I'll say. Next week, you're coming up with all for the topics. I oh, I no. came in I came in with my topics and you were like poo poo poo. Jeff, just oh, ask God, ask sorry. our Discord. Just, just ask our Discord. Who cares? Poo poo poo. Jeff, this is your job. Take the cop out. Jeff. Nobody help him either. You got to come up with don't, oh, three shoot. topics all by yourself. You hear me, young man? There's your homework from the dean. <laughs> all right, I'll help you a little bit. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, check us out on Patreon and stay learnt. Get learnt. Ben learnt. See you guys. Thank you.